Do you have your tickets for today? All right, perfect. Gonna hold it up against the window and go right to number two there for me, okay? Opening door. Let me know when I can touch her. Okay, touch. This is a blunt needle that um, kind of symbolizes that pressure of what a needle might feel like. Trainers at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore are doing these exercises regularly with a select group of animals, like Zuri the lioness and Sophia. Target. She's the zoo's leopard. Ruth Collier is her trainer. She did fantastic. She was motivated and engaged and did every behavior I asked her to do. These sessions are in preparation for an eventual injection of a COVID-19 vaccine some animals at the zoo will receive in a few months. The vaccine itself, made by a company called Zotus, is made in a similar way the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is produced. Both vaccines use disabled adenovirus that delivers instructions to the body on how to beat COVID-19. Now, the adenovirus isn't the coronavirus. Instead, it's another virus. Dr. Ellen Bronson is the zoo's director of animal health. And it's a vaccine technology that's been used before in animals and also in different species. So that's really important to us that we know that we can expect it to be safe across the various species. So we'll be vaccinating the primates, the felids, the cat family, and the mustelids, so the, the weasel family species. We know from the animals that have gotten natural infection that those are the most susceptible. So for now, we'll be starting with, with those. Investigators are still trying to figure out why these groups are more susceptible. That remains unclear. And the CDC says more research is needed. But they do know coronavirus infection in animals presents similar symptoms to humans. Coughing has been seen, some runny noses, some lethargy or you know not feeling quite well or not eating quite well for a short time. Overall, the symptoms so far, so far have been mild in almost all of the cases. But it's concerning enough that susceptible animals be vaccinated as soon as possible. And with COVID-19 infections surging among humans, they can't afford to take any chances. It has jumped in zoos from human to animal, so we are concerned. The animals at the zoo are also susceptible to people coming to the zoo that aren't vaccinated and could be carrying COVID. So just like to make a plug for the sake of our animals at the zoo and the sake of all of us, get vaccinated because it's not only helping yourself and your loved ones and our community, but also our animals at the zoo.